I cannot say that I was number one in the class because I had so many extracurricular activities. And he was not worried about that. That's the good thing I learned from him. Being first in the class is not important. But you should understand it and absorb that knowledge. Even if you don't write in the exam properly, I don't care, he used to say. But you should understand what they say. If you understand, anyway, you will write it. And sometimes what happened, you know, I didn't have the time sense. When I like a question, Mahabharatam lo, Draupadi Gurinchi Nevi Prayam, the question. I used to write pages to pages, pages to pages, pages to pages, quoting several things. Next questions I was not answering. <laughs> I was so much immersed. Okay. That was the kind of training I had. And uh, he, is not, he, is not, he was not allowing me to go to temples or anything, but I used to sneak away. Because my mother's influence is there, every week or every 15 days, I used to go to my village, it's only 8 kilometers. I used to spend at least half a day with her. Whenever I go there, I used to see my mother's rituals. And also she made it a point from Bhattari Subhashtalu, Sumas Shatakam, Vemana Shatakam, all these Shatakas, she used to give me at least 10. Every visit I had to learn 10 and go back. She made it a point. She knows that my uncle doesn't allow me to go to temples. Don't worry, you pray here and go. Pray here enough for one week or 15 days. <laughs> that is her style. So, I was between the two extremes. Lot of, I, I, I was exposed to a big spectrum. From nothing to everything is there by God. I made my own choice of accepting some part from here, some part from here. I cannot do that kind of puja as my mother did. I also came to that conclusion it is not necessary, as my father said. And at the same time, just praying God is not enough. As my uncle does, I should do something. These are the foundations at the very early age.